All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So there's a name that is ringing bells right now in the robotics world. And that's all because he is now considered the highest paid robotic engineer in the world. And many in that world are saying he is also the smartest robotic engineer. We're talking about Silas Ade Kunle, a 26-year-old from Africa. So... 26-year-old Celas Adekunle created Megamon. It is the first gaming robot, and he created that robot in 2016. During the launch of the new technology, the CEO of Reach Robotics, because yes, he has his own robotics company, he started a company called Reach Robotics. He sold 500 robots on first launching his gaming robot. And guess what? Those 500 robots earned him $7.5 million. And we're talking U.S. million dollars here. Adekunle secured a deal with London Venture Partners for $10 million more in 2017. His company also partnered with Apple. Apple, you know, iPhone, Apple. Apple for exclusive sales of the Mechamon, which, which the global tech retailer priced at $300 a piece. And guess what? They're selling. The Nigerian-born engineer began his education in Lagos, his hometown, which is in Africa, before moving to the United Kingdom as a teenager. He attended the University of the West of England and majored in robotics. Adekunle became the leader of the university's robotic program. He began his company with a focus on combining robotic technology with gaming. Through augmented reality technology, users can actually create personalized experiences with Mechamon. This has never been done. Never been done. As a result, many of the robots have been bought for kids' use as opposed to other robots on the market that are geared towards adult male audience. It's a whole industry shift, they're saying. Wow. Looking for products that can entertain kids, but also products that can teach them, Adekunle told Forbes. He made the publication in Forbes Under 30 Europe 2018 technology list. This past year, he had already earned $10 million in additional funding. So we're looking at 10 plus 7.5 plus another. T the, the guy is rolling in the dough. He is bringing the money in all because of his intelligence right he is currently known as the highest paid robotic engineer in the world and rightfully so now in this world blacks are not normally dominant right and I hear very few if I've never actually heard a young black kid say oh I want to go to um, study robotics so it's not something that's promoted in the black community per se and I mean it requires a high deal of mathematics and a love for science and technology which he has I myself have said this many times to not only my own kids but children of the new age new generation like while you're busy watching television all day frying your brain cells these little children that have not much they're busy developing their intelligence by playing with and inventing things. Now, let's not forget, Alakunde started out Alakunde started out in Lagos, Nigeria, right? And I can only imagine he was not sitting in front of a television set all day frying his brain cells or in front of a computer watching or playing video games or lost in that kind of a world but was working his brain cells they're known to be very good at math as well and yes 
Africa is the leading frontier in a lot of things. You hear a lot of people saying, come back to Africa, come back to Africa, or at least come visit because it's developing at rapid pace. And us on the other side of the globe who call ourselves African or African American or ancestors or ancestral children of, a lot of us aren't going back. A lot of us are not even interested in going back. And of course, there are a long list of things that have to do with that happening in our perception of. But in the meantime, the Chinese and everybody else are making huge investments and are going there in droves and numbers, right? And there must be a reason behind it. And this is the reason, one of the reasons right here. Now, 26 year old building the first world's first gaming robot that's an achievement in itself and then to have it geared towards children as opposed to all other robots on the market that are geared towards adult men wow the robotic engineer was named as someone to watch in 2018 by the black hedge fund group and here he is today he's currently the Founder and CEO of Reach Robotics, a company developing the world's first gaming robot. He also recently graduated with a first class degree and has four years background in robotics. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, studied in Nigeria before relocating to the UK as a teenager. He completed his secondary school education and proceeded to the university in the UK where all else took place I'm just saying I'm proud and very impressed people are impressed by the quality of his robots and their ability to show emotions with subtly calibrated movements Apple priced his four-legged bot at $300 which I said before and has put in nearly all of its stores in the United States and in Britain. That in itself is a huge achievement. For Apple to put a price on it at $300, to be impressed by the things that it's able to do, and to make sure that it's in all its stores in the US and the UK, wow. I don't think we need to focus so much on him being rich or him being the highest paid because I think this guy is about to have money coming out the wazoo, if you know what I mean. Money will never be a problem for him again. Just let's celebrate his intelligence, black intelligence, and his greatness. Early customers skew towards male ethnicities, but a growing number of parents are buying the robots for their children to get them interested in STEM science technology mathematics that type of stuff the young engineer the young entrepreneur who once indicated that the secret to his success are balance shared ideas time management and being true to one's self with that he is ready to take over the world he is currently located at the Bristol Robotics Lab, which is said to be the best robotics research center in the UK, if not in the world. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this. Are you interested in robotics? Or if you are past that stage in your life, are your children interested in robotics? Are you trying to open avenues for your children to be interested in things other than the norm like it's typical for us to say yes i want you to be a lawyer yes i want you to be a doctor and we normally look at these things as professions that pay well and are well respected in our society so we hope for our children to belong to that eventually the day will come where where they will have to grow up and earn a living for themselves right no one's gonna give you anything for free that kind of stuff you got to earn your way in life and you hope they can do that at top level no parent wants to see their children grow to be adults and then live in poverty 
but are we just training our children or are you just training your children to be mediocre uh, bottom line earners where they yeah they make enough to pay the bills and that's about it or are you gearing them to be high achievers are you fueling their dreams their fire their desires to be things that we never thought about robotics robots that show emotions that is crazy and out of this world I for sure know that if I had said to my mom and dad while I was growing up I want to make robots that shows emotions like humans they would tell me to think about something else that I want to do in life it's just a wild idea and up until hearing about this brother right here I had no idea that this invention was even invented right so we have to be careful and we have to think about where we're gearing our kids or what we're gearing our kids for whatever we feed them is what is gonna come back out right and like I said earlier in this video right here a lot of our kids are pretty much being raised by television or a lot of frivolous things like toys which fuels their emotion uh, which fuels their intelligence in no way whatsoever And it seems that those that are growing up with a lot end up achieving very little. And then those that are, grow are being raised with very little end up achieving a lot. I guess when you don't have a lot to start with, then you have to imagine. And I think this brother's imagination is probably a part of what got him to where he's at today. Not only imagination, but also books 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 and education not saying that everyone is built for it because everyone's not built for books 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 and education but he clearly has the mind for it right and with that he was able to excel in mathematics which is not my favorite uh, subject at all if you start talking math to me it's the fastest way to get me to start ignoring you <laughs> just put that out there but we're going to end this video now by saying congratulations to this brother again and thank you for making the entire continent of Africa and Africans not only at home but abroad look intelligent. Leave your comment in the comment section below. I'm out.